I haven't released this ages, and today I'm just going to be doing some Guild Wars. Yeah, I'm currently harvesting my home instance because it is part of a daily. You have to, I've got to gather tin lumber from Muguma jungle area. So, I have upgraded my home, which makes the, the daily easier. And I'm just going to harvest my home quickly. Currently busy on the Halloween event candy corn. That's the quartz. This one here is actually done by achievement and the gem store. A thousand gems each, and you get one free if you do the gem store. I mean, do the crafting achievement. That's from the Super Adventure Box. Dragon, Dragon Bash. Christmas. All the vegetables. I have a dragon that a harvesting tool that does a one click. Harvests any uh, plants in the area. And this is the one I wanted to do for the daily. So as you can see at the top right, my daily is counting down. 20, 30, 40, 50. It's pretty much 30 per tree, so So we just keep gathering. There you go, daily done. So the perks of doing a daily is you'll get 10 achievement points every day. Which we all know achievement points is actually how your account progresses. And then you also get an additional two gold for every time you do ten. You don't need to do them all. Let me just bring it up quickly. You don't need to do all these. You only need to do the three that are easiest for you for that day. So I'm just going to finish up gathering my house quickly. I quite enjoy this or, uh, uh, home as well, so... Not just because I play as Sura, but everything's laid out nice and easy to see. Not a lot of obstacles to jump over, such as like the humans. Like the human city, you've actually got to run around and do like a mini obstacle course. Season 3, Living World. Season 4. I'm still missing a few home nodes. Uh, according to Guild Wars efficiency, I need another 3,800 gold, which I will get around to it. So let's just finish gathering this platinum here. Gold, silver. You know, most of these you can actually buy at the auction house. And if you're really lucky, you can get them through Black Lion Chess, but I've not been so lucky. Then there is a number of them that you can get through the Living World Seasons. You'll get one per map. And this one you actually get through doing Auric Basin in Heart of Thorns. So with my house being done, I'm not going to do those down there. I don't have all the keys for those. So next one is part of uh, Maguma Vista Viewer. So we go to our map. And we are going to go there. Verdant Brink. You can go to any Vista in the heart of Maguma, but... For me, this is the easiest one because it's right at the waypoint. Right, that's because Hakka village got here. That can't be. He's blind. 
So then you just jump here. Do, do. And you get that. See, now I am 66 out of 100. So you can now do any of the others. So that's jumping puzzle, events, uh, PvP, so on. But I'm going to do land claimer on Walvis World. So we go to Walvis World, choose any one of the maps you want to. I'm going to an opponent's area because I want to get the closest uh, flag. So you bring up your map. See, there's a flag right there. And that's my spawn point right down there. So, pretty close. Now we just run to the flag. See, now I could have run along that way. And that base is still mine because it's blue, but yeah. Let's take the scenic route. And hopefully I don't get ganked while I'm doing this because there's lots of players. It's a little bit early in the morning. Uh, I'm doing this on purpose. It's a little bit early in the morning to actually have the server busy. But I'm doing it for video purposes. So. And now we just wait. Dailies are done, just like that. Okay. And yeah, as you can see, 10 points and 2 gold. Thank you for watching. That is pretty much the way you do your dailies in under 10 minutes. <laughs> and that's even with harvesting my entire home.